In this presentation, we are going to look at statistical modeling with R for actuarial students. Now, this corresponds to the CS2B curriculum that many actuarial students will encounter. And it features time series analysis, probability distributions, and survival analysis, and so on and so forth. So this particular presentation will look at the Weibull distribution and later on the log normal distribution. But let's begin. A random variable follows a Weibull distribution with parameters for the shape and scale parameters as follows. Shape equals 1.5 and scale equals 100,000. So 100,000. Okay. So run the following code in R before uh, beginning your answers. So we're going to set the seed as 1, 2, 3, 4 and options psi pen equals 5. It's just to sort of control the output. Okay, as we print it out. You'll sort of see what I mean. Now, so here are the exercises. Use the inbuilt functions in R to follow do the following exercises. So the first one is simulate 1,000 values from a Weibull distribution with parameters given previously. Assign this to a vector variable called Weibull sim. The second question is calculate the mean and the standard deviation for the simulated value. So let's get the mean and standard deviation of Weibull sim. Question three, this is an interesting one. Use the mean and the standard deviation estimated in exercise two. Using those, calculate the mean, uh, the parameters mu and sigma parameters of a log normal distribution using the method of moment approach. Simulate 1000 values from the log normal distribution using the parameter estimates above and assign this to a ve vector variable called log normal sim. Calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the simulated values. So there's two more questions there. Plot the histograms and plot, plot, plot the probability distributions. So I'll tell you what, we'll come back to that shortly, the plots, because they're straightforward enough. So it's the question one to four are how we will begin. So the first question is, we'll just sort of remark again that the shape parameter is 1.5 and the scale parameter is 100,000. So these are what we need for the Weibull distribution function that creates a random sample that is called R Weibull, okay? We were told to get a thousand values in this sample, so that's that. Uh, so that set up, sets up our random number simulation according to the Weibull distribution. So we run that and we save it as Weibull sim and it looks like everything's gone okay. So we can just check it there, head of Weibull sim, just to see do we get what we expect. Probably yes. Good. We'll move on. So that's a quick histogram of what we've just created. I've gone a little bit early with regard to the uh, histograms because it's sort of good to actually uh, plot this out and get a look at what we're doing. So hist Weibull sim and breaks equals 30. I could have gone breaks equals 50 there just to sort of get a general sense of the plot. And now that I think of it, actually there is a sort of correspondence or similarity in terms of shape between that and the log normal distribution. We'll see that shortly. Anyway, so Calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the simulated values. Well, that's straightforward enough. We have them saved as a vector there called Weibull sim. So get the mean of that, which we're going to save as sim mean. Okay, the reason for that will become clear shortly. So our sim mean is 89,244. And the standard deviation is sim SD, which is the standard deviation of Weibull sim. We're going to save that as sim SD. That value is 62,718. So that's exercise two. Now, this is an interesting one. Use the mean and the standard deviation estimated for exercise two, which we've done just done previously. Let's just go back there. Uh, we've saved those values, sim mean and sim SD. So sim mean and sim SD are going to be used in this. Estimate mu and sigma parameters of the log normal distribution following the method of moments approach. So we're digressing now to the log normal distribution. So we're going to use those values there, sim SD and sim mean, as the inputs to this approach. So this is the method of moments for the log normal distribution. And this is the sort of approach. So it's broken up into two parts. We have the mean and later on we have the standard deviation. I'll just do the mean first. 
So when we want to calculate, estimate mu, the parameter of the log normal distribution, what we do is use the sample mean and the sample variance, and we use this formula here to estimate mu. So the expected value of x to be squared, what we are going to use for that is the simulated mean squared. The variance we're going to is taken as sim sd squared, the variance, plus the sim mean, and get the square root of that. And we divide this by this, get our fraction, and then just get the logarithm of that. So our mu is 11.2. The second part, we have to calculate sigma, or come up with a value for sigma. So we note that sigma squared can be estimated using the log of the variance of x divided by the expected value of x to be squared plus 1. Okay, and just as a remark, we are asked to find sigma, so we take the additional step of getting the square root. So just of what we have above there, okay. So this is our fraction, this is our variance, sim sd squared. This is our mean squared, okay, sim mean to be squared. So this is our fraction, then we add 1, okay, then we get the logarithm of that, and then we get the square root of that expression so we save this as sigma okay and sigma equals 0 0.634 so previously we have mu 11.2 and sigma 0 0.634 so just keep an eye on those because we're going to use them now in exercise 4 simulate 1000 values from the log normal distribution using the parameter estimates above and assign this to a vector variable named log normal sim Calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the simulated values. So we have mu and sigma from before. So we're going to use the command rlnorm, that's the to create random numbers for the log normal distribution. We're going to create 1000 numbers. The parameters are estimates that we just used previously, mu and sigma. And we're going to save that as log normal sim. Then we get the mean of that, which is... 60 sorry 86,421 and also we are going to get the standard deviation of that which is 54,384 so that's exercise four so the next part is plot a histogram of y bull sim and log log normal sim showing the frequencies uh, I was going to do something there but actually it just reminded me that we have to do everything in base r I was going to use ggplot anyway so here we have the histogram of y bull sim, which I've actually used previously. I've just brought it back in there. Breaks equals 30 just actually breaks it up into 30 intervals. So it, if I don't know if you see, see the mouse there, but it ha has a sort of skew to that is heavily favored the lower values. Okay. And that is the log normal one. So let's just look at them there. They're not that dissimilar from each other, actually. So I'm just toggling back and forth between log normal sim and y bull sim. So if you're just sort of paying attention there, that you can sort of see that y bull is a bit broader, but ultimately in terms of the shape, general shape, location, and general sense of skewness, that they're not so different from each other. So Exercise 6, plot the probability distribution for Weibull sim and log normal sim as a line plot. So I'll just do start with density of Weibull sim. Okay, uh, that's a line plot. I'm going to color it in red and I and go from Y limits from 0 to 0 0.0001. Uh, what I'm going to do beyond that is I'm going to superimpose the similar density plot for log normal sim just put it in green okay so there we have it there and yeah so the main one is the underlying one is the y bull sim which is in red and the log normal sim is in green just superimposed in it so you can sort of see that there is a di divergence there in terms of the shapes that they have the right sort of locality and skewness but definitely the uh, green one the log normal one is taller and slimmer okay so we'll leave it there